Lair of the Mounties. We present episode 36 in Lair of the Mounties, being the third and the concluding part of the Ibex robbery. In this story, we find Inspector Blair beginning to see a solution of the biggest problem in his career, the mysterious succession of gold robberies. First, the cross-channel boat Abex, and then the Atlantic liner Altonia are stopped on the high seas and robbed of bullion shipments. The circumstances point to a deep-laid plot in which not private gangs but nations are involved. With Commander Reed of the British Naval Intelligence, Blair is at Coombe Seton in Devonshire. By a lucky shot, Blair has just succeeded in deciphering one of the mysterious wireless messages sent by the pirate concern. Reed, old man, we've got it. Good heavens. But they'd never use a simple code like that. I don't think it's simple. If we hadn't picked up that key notation, we'd never have got it anyway. Well, here it is. Prepare to intercept liner Arcadia, leaving Southampton, 4 p.m. Saturday, 12th. And then there's a nautical position given, latitude and longitude and so forth. See where it is, Reed. Oh, that's simple. It's off the Irish coast, not far from where the Lusitania was put down. It's an ideal place for a submarine to lie up. And that's tomorrow night? Yes, tomorrow's the night. But this time they lose out. That's if this message isn't a fake. We'll be on hand with half the British Navy. I don't see what use that is. Just means there won't be any gold robbery. That's all it does mean. Mm. What's your idea, Blair? I was thinking there ought to be some way to drop in on this party after it gets nicely started. Oh, yes, I see. That's not a bad idea. But it'd be pretty hard. The whole thing's a matter of minutes. If you give the Arcadia a destroy escort, nothing will happen at all. Got any suggestions? I was thinking of uh, submarines. Yes, I see. Well, we have plenty of submarines, of course. But it's not so easy at that. A submarine's not a very handy sort of craft, you know. Yet I, I don't know. Hmm. It might be a good plan. We have the big seagoing submarines in the Y class. They're fast, too. Of course, you know more about the technical side of the thing than I do. It seems to me it's the only chance to come to grips with this strange craft. Of course, it's mostly guesswork. Yes, they may have something pretty hot in the way of a new type of submarine. They've certainly got something new in that neutralizing force. If we could get onto what that is, it'd be a tremendous thing. You better have a talk to headquarters. Here's McLean coming back. Yes, all right. I'll get on the phone. Hello, McLean. Find anything? Not a thing, sir. We looked over those quarries. Not a sign of anything unusual. No caves along that bank? Not a sign of one. How's the depth along there? Well, there's plenty of depth, but no place a submarine could hide out. You see, the naval people have a line on every possible place along the coast where a submarine could get in. They got it during the war. Yes, I see. Of course, Grayson Hall may be just a sort of directing station. They've stopped sending them wireless messages from here anyway. I wondered what it was that Parsons saw last night. There must have been something. Anyhow, you'd better keep your men on. Watch things pretty closely tonight and tomorrow night. Got plenty of men? Aye, the country's full of police now. We got every road covered. And the naval patrols are out along the seafront. All right, McLean, that's all we can do at present. I'll be here if you want me. Very good, sir. All right. Yes, yes, goodbye. Get anything from McLean? No, he didn't find anything. Never mind that. I talked to the chief in code. He likes that idea of yours. We're going to try it tomorrow night. You mean the submarine? Yes. We'll have four big ones out of Plymouth today. It'll take them all that time to get to that place. Look here, Reed. I've traveled in practically every sort of conveyance in my time, but I never traveled in a submarine. Uh -huh. You mean you'd like to go along, yes, eh? Yes, if it's possible. Certainly. You can't do much good here. I'm leaving for Plymouth at once. Get your things and we'll go. Fine. If it's a fair question, Reed, where are we just now? Oh, we're within a mile of that position they gave us in the wireless message. Right on the Arcadia's course. How far down are we? About three fathoms. We're cruising slowly to starboard of the Arcadian's course. The Y7 is about a mile from us, running parallel. I see. Getting near time, isn't it? Yes. The Arcadia should show up any minute now, if everything's all right. I say, what's the plan? Well, we stay down till we spot this mystery ship. She's got to come up. Then we go up quick and open fire. We've got to maneuver to avoid hitting the Y4. She'd open fire also. Do these people on the Arcadia know about this? Yes, we've told them. They wanted to alter their course, but we persuaded them to carry on as usual. Hmm. Otherwise, we'd never have got a chance at this submarine. The captain of the Arcadia and his officers know the whole plan. <laughs> I bet they're on their toes just yes, now. Uh, you shouldn't wonder. How far away can you see the Arcadia? Well, that depends. We've got two big periscopes up. Not far. Probably a few minutes before she draws abreast of us. 
They have special recognition lights. Wait, get a stern, sir. All right, Preston. Can you make out the lights? Yes, it's the Arcadia, sir. She's coming up fast. Mm. She's right on the dot. Now we are going to see something. There go the bombs on her deck, sir. She's slowing down. Stand by the blue forward tanks. Stand by the blue forward tanks. Stand by for the gun crew. Stand by for the gun crew. Got that, sir. Yes. Can you see any planes, Preston? No, sir. But there's still a bomb in there. Gas bombs busting fore and aft. If only that confounded submarine would show up. Control ahoy! And a big submarine! Coming up about two points! On the port bow! She's just a washer! Go for a turn! Go for a turn! Hold tight, Blair, we're going up! Yeah, we're going up the left rudder one degree! Aye, aye, sir! Aye, aye, sir! Away, forward! Away, gun crew! Forward, gun crew! Forward, little Preston! Come on, Blair, up this ladder! We ought to be able to see something! I hope! Holy smoke, there she is. Oh, yes, Look at the size of her, will you? It's about putting off my submarine, sir. And there's another one, sir. By George, those fellows are smart. Let them get away a little, Preston, then you can open fire. Aye, aye, sir. Stand by, for a gun. Sight on, Patterson. Stand by, for a gun. Look, the Arcadia's oh, nearly stopped. She's swinging out of control. Her decks are full of smoke. The white four is open fire, sir. All right. Give it a couple of rounds, Preston. There's a hit, by George. By George right another control I'd position. Say, firing from the boat, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> Look, she's, she's it, sir. She's heeling yes. over. Lord, there goes our last chance to see what's on her. Signal Y4 to cease firing. Yes, sir. Come on. We'll get those boats. We'll get them anyway. Can you see, Blair? Yes, I see. I say it looks as if she's going, doesn't yes, it? Yes, there she goes. And that confounded secret goes with her. Commander Reed, sir. Yes? Captain of the Arcadia wants instructions, sir. Says no damage. Engine's okay again. All right. Give him my compliments and tell him to proceed on his course. Yes, sir. Hello, McLean. How's everything? All quiet. Glad to see you back, sir. Did they get that <laughs> submarine? Yes, they got her, unfortunately. She was hit amidships. Sank with all hands. We got the men in the boats, though. So, that's the end of the gold robberies, huh? Yes, that was that part of it. Next thing is Grayson Hall. How do you mean, sir? Why, we got the story from one of those prisoners. There's a big tunnel. Runs from under the hall out to the old quarry. The entrance is underwater at the quarry end. A tunnel? Yes, huh? that's where they kept the submarine. It appears there were old underground passages used in smuggling days. These people enlarged them. They've got plenty of accommodation down there. That's why we never got on to their movements. But who are these people, anyhow? Well, keep this quiet, McLean. These men were all picked men from the Mauritanian forces. We had quite a fight before we rounded them up. We got 11 of them. There'll be a big row about that, I'm thinking, sir. No, that's not likely. They've paid indemnity, and that's all. But it's a queer thing. Sort of secret war. Piracy on a grand scale. First time it's been done since the days of privateering. What's the program, sir? Commander Reed will be here in a minute. He has an armed party. We're going to break into that secret passage under the hall. Don't know who's down there, but... That's where they have that gold. What do you want to me, sir? Oh, you won't be in on this search party, McLean. Lush, no, Inspector. Listen to me. No, no, it's no good, McLean. It's after your fight. No use you getting killed. It's a job for the Navy. But if you'll give me a gun, I'll be weak. Oh, yes, I know. But you get your men and throw a cord on around the hall. Uh, Here's Commander Reed now. Well, all right. Ready, Blair? Yes. We might as well get into this business. Yes, we'll have to look out for gas in that tunnel. Yes, we're ready for that. That'll be a rather tough job, isn't it, Reed? Oh, I don't know. Depends on how many men we have to deal with and what weapons they have. Anyhow, let's get going. All right. At you, McLean. Yes, sir. Anything stirring? No, sir. It's all quiet. And there's nobody in the house at all. Oh, how do you know? We just took a look around there. The place is deserted, sir. Hmm. That's funny. Where's that main door, McLean? This way, sir. All right. Bring the men up, Collins. Aye, aye, sir. Ready, Blair? Yes. Go ahead. What's those other entrances, McLean? We'll be watching them, sir. Let's see. This entrance is in the panel somewhere in this hall. Yes, third panel to the left of that door. Long here somewhere. Yes. Here, here we are. Left and bottom. Yes. That's it. Hold tight. That's it. Yes. All right. Take it easy. Don't use that flashlight. There are steps. Yes. Look out. Look out. Yes, there's water just below. There's a path along the ledge. Get all the men down, Collins. They're all here, sir. We'd better go ahead slowly, hadn't we? No. No. We've got to make a rush. Come on. Hold on. There's something here. What is it? Why? It's a man. Show me the light. Good Lord. He's dead. Oh, he's dead, all right. Here's another here, sir. Why, look. There's several of them. There's a side passage here. What's this in these boxes? Oh, that's all right. That's the gold they got off those ships. 
Well, that's what we're after. Hold on. What's that paper? Oh, it's in a foreign language. Good Lord, it's, it's written in blood. Hmm. Long live Maritania. Hmm. Well, good luck to them. They prefer death to failure. Yes, that's apparently the idea. Well, that's the last of the Ibex mystery. You have listened to episode 36 in Blair of the Mounties. 